great overall effort by our guys. I felt like we, we, we came out uh, today just to make a point to each other that, that we can get back to playing our basketball, defending, rebounding, being the priority, and then just letting our offense take care of ourselves. And, and these two guys stepped up huge um, on the offensive end, but it was, it was all a, a product of, of us getting stops getting out and transitioning where we're best and, and, and allowing these dudes to, to just play with <clears throat> with uh, a confidence and an aggression that you know just propelled propel us to a win tonight. Questions for Isaiah and Tracy? This, this is sort of both the I mean, career highs and points. Or uh, what, was, what was kind of working for you guys tonight? But Tracy, you can go take that question. Um, <clears throat> I think I just took what they gave me. Um, read the floor, uh, looked at my team, and just, just took what they gave me. That's all. Yeah. Um, for me, you know, you know, when Pumi Powell was out there, you know, he draws so much attention, so it just makes my job a lot easier, just being ready to catch and shoot. But, you know, with him being out today, I had to be more aggressive, you know, just looking for my shot, you know, just getting to the open spots on the floor. Tracy, how much more confident are you offensively? It looks like you're much more so than the beginning of the year. Is that, is that the case? Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> Just about getting getting better uh, every day as a coach tells us we, what we got to do, and <clears throat> I'm just playing it as the day go by and just just keep getting better, focusing on what I need to get better, what I need to do to help my team get better, and what we all need to do as a whole. So. Hey Isaiah, what, what part of your game do you think you've taken up this year? Because you, you you've been a lot more productive and everything. You have obviously got more minutes and everything. What, what part of your game do you think you've taken up? Um, I think just more so, you know. My energy and my leadership. I'm not, I'm not as much as a vocal leader as Tracy Carter. I'm, I take pride in being like the lead by example type of guy. Um, you know, just being dialed into the scout report, just just knowing where everybody's going to be at. So I, I feel like once I locked in in that area, I think everything else took care of itself. It looks like your three point game. You're more confident with that. Is that the case? Yeah, you know, uh, coach gave me a lot of confidence um, since the summertime. You know, just just working on my shot every day, getting in, just putting the shots up. So now once I'm open and I feel like I can knock it down, I take it. And that's the beauty of it. The other thing about you is you, you're hard to defend off the dribble. How about that? That looks like a big part of your arsenal. Um, as far as the dribbling goes, um, I try to tone it down. Because, you know, I don't want to over dribble and then, you know, just stagnate the offense. So what I try to do is two to three dribbles the match. If I don't got anything, just reverse it to my teammates. There's a period late in the game there where Saul was out for a little while. Um, Notice then you guys, the two of you both, stepped up big time. You guys were leading the team on offense and on defense. Um, what do you guys have to say with what happened down the stretch there? <clears throat> well, as you guys know, Saul is a very big uh, part of our defense and offense. Um, and as Coach always talk about, man, when, when one person goes down, it got to be next man up. And I think that's what uh, Isaiah and I did. A, even all our team did a great job of. Yeah, I know. Um, it's easy to point, you know, the, the, the glory to us too based on the numbers, but I, it was a total team effort, you know. Chetty came in, did a phenomenal job. I think battled beautifully. You know, Dave played well through the foul trouble, so it, it was just a beautiful team effort, and it's ready to get the win. Isaiah, you, know, you spent the last year just kind of trying to find your spot on the team, and it kind of feels like this year is you know, when you finally found it. Do you think that's something you kind of agree with? Um, I would agree with that because, you know, it's, it's, it's all about confidence at the end of the day. When you got um, coaches staff giving you confidence, teammates giving you confidence, it's, it's just a beautiful thing to just go out there and play your brand of basketball with your brothers. What about confidence as the team now? You're 9-8 in your last 17 and everything after. We all know about the rough start, but how about as a team? As a team, you know, our, our slogan is get better every day. You know, we just want to give each other honest effort, you know, just play hard. And if we could look at each other at the end of the day and say we gave each other honest effort, then that's good enough for us. Thanks, guys. You guys Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Could you tell us what happened to Saul? Was he banged up? Or? No, he, he cramped up at the end. And, um, and we've been down this road with him before. We're, um, we're at BCU, I believe, where he cramped up late in the game. And we tried to keep him out there. And then you had a possession where he couldn't move. He made possession. We gave up a three. So I'm like, yo, you know what? 
until I know that he's 100% ready to get back out there, we just we left him out. And like you guys said, the other guys were playing well, so there was really no no reason to disrupt that that um, the lineup that we had out there. Coach Isaiah mentioned it. Um, the bigs tonight were hustling all over the place. That wasn't just them, though. I'm, I've been here for four years. I've watched every LaSalle men's basketball game that's been here. And that's the toughest I've ever seen our team play. What do you have to say for them? I felt like those guys had to prove to themselves that they can battle that way for each other, right? Um, I've been trying to get these guys to understand that if we play harder than our opponent every night, that's going to be our best chance to give ourselves the opportunity to win. And, you know, we, we had a moment after the Richmond game where, where we said, look, guys, are we, are we committed to, to getting better or not? Um, obviously, we, we had a, a three-game skid. And, you know, how are we going to, you know, battle out of that skid? We got, we got to come out. We got to give an honest effort against Davidson. And that's what our guys did. I thought our guys came in there focused on just defending, rebounding, um, you know, trying to do our best to, to be the harder playing team. Um, you know, we, we give all credit to Davidson. They're, they're a great team. They, they're, um, they have a great coach. They have a great system with, with great players. And, you know, our guys, I felt like, you know, they, they battled them tonight for 40 minutes. Early on, they were given to big man. Like, what, what kind of adjustments did you need? Because after that, you kind of went in the second half. Well, we, we, we told our, our two freshman forwards that, that they were going to do it. And sometimes, you know, you know, you have to believe it before, you have to see it before you believe it. They actually felt, all right, yo, in the game, those dudes are going at you every time. So I told our two forwards, you have to limit the guy's touch. You got to make it harder for him to, to get the ball in the post because we just stood behind him. And, you know, Jared uh, was in the game and, and came out of a timeout, and, and he did a great job of disrupting the ball going to the post. And then when Eddie went back in, he, he, he duplicated that effort. So it was, it was nothing more than just asking those guys to, to exert a little bit more effort. So. It was fan appreciation night here tonight. And there was a point in that second half where the fans started rocking in there tonight. Um, How did you feel about them here tonight? It was awesome. I, I know um, at, at every school, when you start off 0-10, it's hard to get the fans excited about coming out, right? But um, it was great to, to take advantage of the opportunity to, to, to play well in front of our home crowd. I feel like whenever you, you have a good crowd at home, it gives the team a little bit more juice. And, and I think our, our guys fed, fed off of the crowd tonight. So hopefully we can, we can get our crowd back um, for the Fordham game and, and, and get some people excited to, to, to go down to uh, Hawk Hill and, and disrupt things on Saturday. From when you took over to now, what, what have you seen in Deez's game like that you've seen improve? Well, I think the, the one thing that, that, that I've seen is his confidence. Um, but with, with Isaiah, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's every day bringing it. Like, I think that's what he's improved on the most, understanding how to bring it every day, how to practice hard every day. Because he's a guy who's, um, whose effort has been – inconsistent and and I, and I tell Isaiah all the time I say yo man you're as talented of a player that I've, as I've ever coached if you ever <coughs> learn to apply yourself all the time you could be really good and, and and he's and he's buying into it but it's it's habits it's creating habits um every day and we all know that it, it's hard to formulate those habits you got to go through it um and, and, and he's and he's done a great job of sticking with that mindset and it's, it's good to see it pay off for him in a game like today how important was it to get off to a start like you had out there against a team like that? Um, it, it's always it, it's always good to, to get off to a good start. We call it setting the tone. Um, you know, we we we've done a good job uh, of of setting the tone for most of the games that that, that we've had in conference. Um, and but our whole thing has been like, as you guys know, we've had leads, we 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 we've lost leads. It's been about playing forty minutes for us. And, um, and I'm just glad that our guys were able to, to not only set the tone to start, but maintain it for 40 minutes. Yeah, you guys led for 94% in the game, and you never let up. Can you speak on the team's chemistry from game one until now, and how they've come together? I think, I think you have to, you gotta, you gotta go back to the losses 
0-10, and our guys staying committed to getting better and not getting discouraged. And, and honestly, my coaching staff, um, they, they did a great job of just keeping our guys motivated to keep getting better and keeping those guys inspired and believing in themselves. So now, once you go through that difficult stretch and then you start winning games, it's a lot easier to believe because you, you say, okay, all right, it's starting to play off. You see that light at the end of the tunnel. And, and now we're a team that's just, just going through the process of learning who we are and what this program is going to be. And, and, and that's where we are now. We're, we're, we're just believing in each other. We're believing in, 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 in what, we're, what we're trying to accomplish here as a program. And, and now a, a game like today um, just, you know, just, just justifies all of the work that we put in up until this point. But we, we, can't, get, we can't get comfortable. We've got we to gotta become more hungry uh, to, so that we can keep experiencing wins like this and, 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 and believing that you know, wins like this come off the effort that you put in every day in practice and how committed you stay to playing for each other. That's what it is.